How to choose and measure for chimney liner. Never buy cheap chimney liner. It just isn't worth it. Cheap liner can fall apart easily, and if it does this during fitting, it can be very sharp and dangerous. Once any layers come apart, it can become stuck in your chimney. The chimney liner sold on our website is what we would fit in our own chimney. Liner is sold in different diameters, but rarely will the stove be connected to anything other than 5 inch or 6 inch. The smallest diameter of liner allowed in the UK is 5 inch and can be fitted if the stove is approved by DEFRA and the collar of the stove is not above 5 inch to start with. Check installation instructions to be sure. Never go less than the diameter stated by the manufacturer. You can always fit a diameter larger than is necessary, but rarely is there a reason to do this. 5 inch chimney liners are the number one choice for installers looking to have an easy life during the installation. Our advice is to choose a stove that will take a 5 inch chimney liner. Which grade to choose? 316 and 904 or different grades of stainless steel? Simple answer. Go for 904 as it is better placed to protect against acids and other nasties. Definitely fit 904 grade if you are planning on burning smokeless fuel or have a boiler stove. How to measure for your chimney liner? Simple answer is to measure the house. Measure downstairs height, measure upstairs height, measure loft height. Then add the thickness of two floors, which are usually about 50 centimeters per floor, and then take into account the height of the chimney stack above the top of the ridge. Some installers will even go as far as counting the bricks on the outside of the house. Adding another centimeter put a brick in for mortar thickness. Always order a little more than required to be sure. You can easily cut chimney liner with a grinder, hacksaw or tin snips. 